I don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Guess getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure's constantly changing. It's, it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides, unstable phosphate groupings, and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. But what if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. You should have seen the bat cave. The what? It doesn't matter. I much prefer the view from up here anyway. You mean the view from the Union Station Tower? The big clock? Mm, kind of gives it away. <laughs> 